Hey guys, it's King. Um, pretty video thing. I just thinking myself back before I even start editing this. The message I really want to send out in this video is I love the COD community so much and it's just underrated right now. All the people I have met through this are seriously so amazing and I think you're going to get the rest of it in this video. But just uh, not hating on the community at all. It's more talking about what people outside of the community think. But yeah, I love you guys. We're going to make BO4 great and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on? King of them all and today I want to talk about a little something more serious kind of thing i mean i don't really know how serious it is but i seen this tweet the other day um by horizon slip someone liked it so it popped up i don't follow them but um, i'm gonna throw it up on the screen right now and it says right now the director side of the community is at its lowest point it's ever been at there's such few teams for underrated people to grind for slash join underrated guys are best off staying solo and working on building their own brand slash name it sucks to see how things are and someone replied 2014 15 prime days so many good teams the memories so in this video i just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on that because i think that's actually a super good topic to talk about right now considering i'm a very small content creator trying to build my way up you know so basically what he's saying you know what is there to grind for? Because when you're in the COD community, it seems like it's all about joining teams and, you know, joining an org and grinding with people. And that's how I felt when I first started, you know, this, you know, when I first started my YouTube channel, I wasn't totally in the Call of Duty, but it just fell that way. You know, I met Maru very shortly after and with how much of a sniper he was. I know he, he doesn't really snipe anymore or play that much anymore, but... He just totally got me into that and I just started quickscoping so much more again like the old days and I kind of, you know, was learning all about the trick shot community and everything. I just learned so much and I'm like, okay, you know, this is awesome. Like, this is what I want to do. So, you know, in that time, you know, we started our own team called Asylum. If you guys remember that, you're you're awesome. And after Asylum, I ended up joining a team called Inbound, which I thought was super cool because it was like my first like official, you know, bigger org kind of thing. I, they only had like 1.2k when I joined or something. But then I took a, um, a break from YouTube, my first of two breaks, and I got kicked for being an actor which I totally understood. Then when I came back shortly after I joined Vital, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember Vital. It seems a lot more guys from those days are still around. So much love to you guys. But yeah, um, joined Vital and Vital was awesome. I had a ton of fun there. I met some guys that I'm still friends with and I'm thankful for every moment I had in there. And then once again, I fell into a break and um, Vital ended while I was on that break. So that's my whole history with the teams aspect. But now, um, I just kind of want to talk about the current state. Um, he's not wrong when he says there's really not much to grind for, you know. It's just due to the fact that the COD community is at a low point right now because Call of Duty became so unpopular these past few years. But the thing that I want to, you know, counter-argue there is, like, COD is a, like, in whole might be general, you know, COD might have a bad rep, but, like, when I look at the COD community and the people in it, there's some of like the greatest people ever to me because everyone that has joined my you know stream everyone that has subbed to me like you guys are all so nice and just the people i've met through this are amazing you know so it's kind of like yeah all right you know the community as a whole might have a bad rap you know outsiders kind of look on it and say oh call of duty you know that's stupid who still plays call of duty who still wants to you know make cod videos in 2018 me <laughs> this guy right here you know like so people who aren't in it want to talk all this stuff about it but in reality to me like the people that are in it the people that i meet are some of the greatest people i've ever met and people who are seriously i would think of that are going to be lifelong friends at this point you know i have met some of my greatest friends playing this damn game now as far as the team slash org side i can understand what he's saying because a lot of the newer teams and stuff like that they are underrated because the amount of players in call of duty today still aren't as big i know like i just said everyone in the community is great but it is it is so hard for a new team to come up because call of duty as a whole i feel just has that rep of you know it's a thing of the past why are, why are people still doing it why are you guys still playing it and you know like i go and i was just watching old videos the other day on like days and all this stuff and i seen like so many people comment oh i miss these days i miss this i miss that and it's just like people still do this stuff why because people still love it you know i know fortnite's taken over now and me myself i'm not a huge fortnite guy but it's like when I go into these comment sections on YouTube and I see people saying, oh, I missed this. I wish um, you guys still did this. I know FaZe doesn't really do it anymore. They still have some great snipers, by the way, that you guys should definitely go check out. Because they still play COD, which I think is awesome, even through all the Fortnite times. But the people that say that, you know, it seems to me like they're just out of touch with the current community. Like, I wish that they could go and, you know, find these underrated teams. And for me as you know a youtuber that is so super small it's like it's almost hard to grow in the cod community to those heights that you see these vloggers reaching and all this stuff which is i totally understand the cod guys that went over to vlogging because at that point you know it was already their life and they wanted to make you know a bigger leap for their youtube channel because that's all they had 
I wish they could have, you know, mixed vlogging in with Call of Duty and stuck with it, but sadly, that's just not how things ended up. But then, you know, I look at, like, this month, um, I don't know if you guys know who Fortunate is, or Ghost, they're the big players on this game currently. Fortunate, I remember watching him in January and a little bit before January we ended, when he had, like, 7, 7.5k, and it's May now, and he's hit 40k, so, like, you can still make big leaps in this community. Now, I know you're not gonna you know, jump to, like, the hundreds mark, he's on his way to the hundred mark, like, you, you're not gonna be able to do that overnight, but, like, I still think it's a pretty damn good boost. I know I haven't really focused on the whole team aspect as much in this video, I honestly just don't know as much what to say about the team aspect, but I just kind of wanted to talk about the whole, you know, community side and Call of Duty, and, like, I know COD gets that bad rep, but it's, like, like I said before, guys, the people that I meet through the COD community are some of the greatest people that I know. You know, Modern Warfare Remastered was good. That definitely was a good year for us. And then, you know, World War II was good, but it just was super repetitive with the maps and everything. So that's why it just died out quick. And then Fortnite's taken over. And a lot of the people that are playing Fortnite now are some of, you know, the old COD guys. A lot of the old COD guys and a lot of the old Call of Duty fan base, to be honest. So what I'm really hoping for to happen is, you know, Fortnite's been out for a while. I'm really hoping around that BO4 time that a lot of those guys give Black Ops 4 a chance. And maybe if it's good, which I'm really hoping it's good, it's almost a do or die year for Call of Duty, that the community is going to get another spark of life. I don't think it'll ever reach its heights again. But like, I still just want to say, I know it's through a hardship, but there's so many people still here, you know, that still love doing it and have fun doing it. And respect to all those guys, you know, I mean, I love doing this. I know I'm not totally in the COD community because I don't trick shot and do all this stuff. You know, I just want to make videos and I've actually fallen away from the sniping point of things over these, you know, past few months as well since I've came back. You know, I've enjoyed going for nukes more and just playing the game more. I still snipe a little bit. I still kind of go for trick shots when, like, I play free for all when I play with Ben or stuff like that. But just in general, I just like playing MW2 now and making commentaries and streaming for you guys, whether it's red gunning or sniping or just doing whatever. I just want to become a content creator that enjoys making videos, playing games. You know, I don't want to snipe you know 100% anymore I don't want that to be my main focus anymore because I just want to my main focus I want to do is just content and streaming and you know like I always say hopefully growing and just getting to my goal but it's really cool to see you know ghosts almost have 100k he's one of the big MW2 guys right now unfortunate have 40 50k and maybe with the next COD game, I don't know if they're going to be switching over or sticking on this game. But, like, if they blow up, then, you know, I know there's a lot of more underrated Call of Duty YouTubers out there. That's the problem right now in the COD community. Every COD YouTuber, mainly, mainly, the, I know there's some big ones. I know Pimage is coming back to Call of Duty and all this stuff. But overall, the Call of Duty YouTubers, like, in the community, they're so small. And it's so hard to, like find each other and find new Call of Duty YouTubers. Uh, there's been a couple of the blow up, like I always say Fortunate, he's like the most recent one that comes to mind going from 7 to 40k now, just over the course of these like 4 months, which I think is insane dude, seriously that is so awesome. But you know, like if they keep going well and Black Ops 4 is decent and they just get bigger and it's a little easier for us smaller guys to maybe do something, then who knows what is honestly going to happen. Like, we could see a second wind, you know, a second life of the community, especially since it's almost like a new age group coming up. So, you know, I know everyone's in the Fortnite, but if, like, there's a good Call of Duty game, because, you know, think about some of these kids that are, like, maybe, you know, 10, 12 years old, and the first thing they knew about Call of Duty was Advanced Warfare, and they had to play, you know, Advanced Warfare, BO3, and IW, and their first, you know, introduction was the futuristic games. And now, um, after World War II, World War II was decent, but got repetitive. And I really like that they're still updating it just due to the fact I think they're trying to get everything right for this new game. You know, what can happen with BO4? Can BO4 give us that second spark? You know, can the smaller creators get a little boost and make it easier for people to find us? And can the bigger guys get bigger, you know, instead of 40, 50k, get them to 100, you know, go, let's get them to a couple hundred, you know, get the bigger guys, like, hopefully random starts playing, you know, COD again, you know, Jev, hopefully he's back grinding COD again, you know, just a lot of these things, if all these if a few of these guys can come back to cod you know pomage is going to be grinding it all this stuff you know i mean i don't know boys i'm it's just um i can totally understand where he's saying that the community's at a low point i um i don't know about the whole staying solo thing right now you know i'm going to be dedicating my summer to grinding for sore because i want to grind for sore gaming and i think it's awesome i do think there's great teams out there but you just have to find them it's just um it's a rough thing to be in a team nowadays because, you know, before everyone wanted to join teams and, you know, climb the whole team ladder and make their goal. Now I feel like me, like when I join a team, like I look at, you know, who's the leader, you know, the size of the team. And I look at their content creation squad because I look at joining teams if I ever got offers like, hey, 
what are their content creators doing? Am I going to meet new people that I feel I can re relate to and collab with and just play games with all in all? Because like I said, not so much from IB. Um, well, I did meet Mac and IB and Mac's one of my best friends now. So shout out to him. And then, you know, I look at Vital between, you know, Deride, Vizzy, and just, you know, all them guys, that whole squad that I still talk to, it's like, I've still, I still made so uh, such a great group of friends in Vital, and really, for me, joining teams, it's like, I just make so many good friends, but I know I'm kind of rambling, I hope from everything I said, you guys can just kind of take my whole point of this, and I'm just trying to show you guys, you know, I just want you guys to take from this, like, how much I still love doing this, how much I just love playing COD in general, and how excited for BO4 I am, and how I, how I just want to stay playing Call of Duty because I enjoy it. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to stop rambling here. I hope you guys can put together everything I said and just take it as I love doing this. I hope BO4 gives us, you know, the big push that we need that I feel if we get, you know, we might have a little revive, which I think will be awesome. Because if we get it, I think it could last for a couple years again. With all these updates, I really think they're just trying to get everything right. They're still updating BO3, which is like a two-year-old game. They're still updating World War II to this point, which normally they give up on their games by now. So I hope Call of Duty is making their efforts to get things right and ready to get Call of Duty back onto the mainstream again, which I'm super excited for, and I really hope happens. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for the great streams recently. They've been amazing. You guys are amazing. And the growth and the progress is just so insane. I, I seriously, I, I don't even have words. We're doing this this year, boys. BO4, we're making it our year. We're hitting that 10K goal. And I'm so excited for all you guys already here along for the ride. And I'm super excited that everyone I'm going to meet within the next year and a half over that game. So yeah, like I said, I'm rambling. I love you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. Hey